Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve the exponential problem 1000 squared minus 999 squared. And we're going to be using for solving this with three different methods and I'm going to not be using a calculator for any of them. Okay, so for our answer choices, my first answer choice is 1111. For B, I have 1,999. For C, I have 1,889. And for D, I have 19,999. So we need to figure out which of these answer choices is the correct answer. All right, so now for our first method to solve this problem, what I'm first going to do is 999, this is equal to 1000 minus 1, right? So now if I replace in 1000 minus 1 for 999, I get 1000 squared minus 1000 minus 1 squared. And now, an important property of algebra is that if I have something in the form a minus b squared, oops, sorry, a minus b squared, this is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So in the case of 1000 minus 1 squared, we can think of a as 1000 and b as 1. So now if I replace in a for 1000 and B, or sorry, if I replace in 1,000 for A and 1 for B, I get 1,000 squared minus 1,000 squared minus 2 times 1,000 times B, which is 1 plus b squared, so 1 squared. Now, I have 1,000 squared. And now, if I distribute the negative sign to all three terms, I get negative 1,000 squared plus 2 times 1,000 times 1 minus 1 squared. Now this is equal to, now 1,000 squared minus 1,000 squared, these two will simply cancel out. So I simply am left with 2 times 1,000 times 1 minus 1 squared. Now 1,000 times 1 is 1,000, so I have 2 times 1,000 minus 1 squared. 2 times 1,000 is 2,000, so I have 2,000 minus 1 squared, which is equal to 2,000 minus 1, which is equal to 1,999. So that was our first method to solving this problem. Okay, so now let's take a look at our second method. So our original problem was 1,000 squared minus 999 squared. Now, instead of re replacing 999, or sorry, 999, I'm going to replace 1,000 because 1,000 here, this is equal to 999 plus 1. So now if I substitute in 999 plus 1 for 1,000, I get 999 plus 1 squared minus 999 squared. And now, if I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. In this case, a is equal to 999 and b is equal to 1. So if I substitute in 999 for a and 1 for b, I get 
plus 2 times a, which is 999, times b, which is 1, plus b squared, so 1 squared. And then we can't forget our minus 999 squared at the end. All right, so now I'm going to simplify this a little bit. So as you can see, we have a 999 squared at their start, and we also have a minus 999 squared at the end. So these two are actually going to cancel out. So now I'm left with 2 times 999 times 1 plus 1 squared. Now, 2 times 1 is simply 2. So I have 2 times 999 plus 1 squared. And now 1 squared is simply 1. So I have 2 times 999 plus 1. Now 2 times 999, let's go ahead and do that. 9 times 2 is 18. 2 times 9 is 18. 18 plus 1 is 19. And finally, 2 times 9 is 18. 18 plus 1 is 19. So I have 1998. So I have 1998 plus 1. And this is equal to 1999. So this is our answer. Now, finally, we have our third method. So our third method for original expression, which was 1000 squared minus 999 squared. So if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is actually equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to 1000 and b is equal to 999. So now I have 1000 plus 9999 times 1000 minus 999. Oops, sorry, this is wrong. This is not 9999, this is just 999. So times 1000 minus 999. Now, 1,000 plus 999, that is equal to 1,999. And then I have my times. 1,000 minus 999 is simply just 1. So this would equal 1,999. So now the answer choice that is correct here is going to be B.